Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a new video and we are finally back guys five months later with a new Banner Road podcast and we are here today with Mr. Jaeger, hello. That's uh, amazing, nailed the uh, intro on the f first try for the first time in five months. We win! <laughs> yeah! We win! <laughs> <laughs> That's it, guys. That's all you want to have. <laughs> yeah, on. yeah. Wrap it up. There yeah, go. got it. Oh, Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, but uh, are you ready to answer the first question? Indefinitely. So yes. nostalgic care. Wow. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, so we all know, or <laughs> at least now, uh, that the early access is coming out in March 2020. Uh, but what do you think that Tell the Worlds will be including in that early access? I think uh, with what's going on in Bannerlord and other sort of... Given the fact that they've taken so long uh, to to even get to early access, yeah. point, I imagine we might perhaps see something along the uh, multiplayer focus line. So probably more to do with the multiplayer maps and getting that would the be cool. combat down. Like, just so that way, first of all, um, just so that way people can get used to the game and also so that the developers can actually have a look-see, you know, Turtles can actually figure out the bugs and the kinks with all the current melee combat. Because I did have that closed alpha slash beta thing at one of the... Yeah. Was it at D3 they had it? Or it was another event? They had it for a certain period of time at an yeah. event, um, which was the first actual playthrough of mm -hmm. anything for a long last time. Mm. So, I say... Short answer, I think it's primarily going to be multiplayer focused. Um, cool. So that way they have a better chance of, de of developing stuff. Yeah. Do you think that we we, we will have some um, something based on like story based? Single player or multiplayer, I don't know. Um, things? Like some, I mean, yeah. I mean, having um, having such a uh, I mean, having I'm mean, obviously the main core aspect of the game in primary aspect is the single player story. Yeah. yeah. But that is a major, uh, that's like a big open world with like sandboxy style things. So we'll probably see maybe some cooperative uh, battles or something where players can yeah. work together or you can have something to showcase a siege battle. But in terms of playthrough, probably nothing along um, those nothing along those lines until I would say the first I don't know three four months after the initial uh, early access to see how it's going. Yeah, cool. <clears throat> uh, because I I think I read like <laughs> a long time ago when I was actually having a computer to read on <clears throat> uh, that uh, they announced a um, game mode where you would have it's a, it's a co-op. And it's it's an open scale combat where you face uh, your friends and you have various armies, uh, like you control your 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 own army, um, mm. like in co op yeah, fight, you know. Yeah, I heard about <clears throat> I heard about um, about something similar to that. Yeah, running an army thing and trying to. I mean, that is always possible, and I think that's probably what's going to be most likely the case, but yeah. in terms of single-player campaign or any kind of aspect for the single-player, we're probably not going to see any distinctive uh, campaign reveal until, I again, like, uh, it's around that sort of three, uh, four month-ish mark. Once that sort of, com once we start coming into Q2, Q3 um, territory with... Um, with Bannerlord, yeah. then we'll start seeing more definite content for the game um, in terms of single player and obviously mods because obviously because the modding factor for this yeah. game is going to be a bigger fact, uh, really enjoyable. Yeah, and I, think I really hope kind of... they will um, avail. Well, I hope that people will come up with mods pretty early in the in the uh, state of the game. Um, because at least in my opinion, like mods were the thing for Warband at least that always kept me coming back to it, you know. Um, and that, you know, if if 
we as the community missed something a a about the game some cool like programmer <laughs> guy could always like implement that you know in a in as a mod uh, and I hope that well I'm not I don't share your view of that multiplayer is going to be so huge in the be beginning I think that it's mostly gonna be like single player like quick uh, like pre setup matches you know um, well yeah that's what I mean it's prime as I said like the, in terms of content it's gonna be primarily um, primarily uh, yeah primarily uh, multiplayer so like there won't be any single player modes but it'll mostly be like a few multiplayer games just to sort of start with and i mean in terms of modding and other communities i'm fairly certain that uh, when i was here years ago admittedly when they were talking about the um, um early access or what would happen they're already <clears> the, the go the game developers Tato, uh, already gave out certain bits of code to the big oh. big mods so yeah. probably early uh, maybe we'll start seeing some modding uh, for the game early uh, in the lifespan of the early access but yeah and again there's a lot of things that comes into it what kind of mods we can see is probably going to be maybe skin mods maybe it's going to be maps maybe it's going to be uh overhauls balances uh old you know uh all sorts of things <clears throat> yeah but it you know unfortunately because of the nature of early access we don't know what definitively will be there and we don't know how long the game will be in early access at all yeah um, and based on what you said here, how long do you think it's going to be in early access? <laughs> Eight years, ten years? <laughs> like, who knows? Well, maybe, ho well, hopefully not <laughs> as long as it was uh, before they even announced no. the damn thing's release date, but well, it, maybe it is all... we're looking at at least 2021. It'll yeah. come out by about early 2021. I which... hope that, you know, because as I said in the previous, in my combat, the combat video, uh, it has been eight, eight years today since they first announced it, it, it you know, back in 2012. So, <laughs> it's been a pretty long time. Mm -hmm. All, Almost eight years, you know. Uh, yeah, well... <laughs> and, that's, if, that's, it's, and, yeah. and if all they're, 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 they're gonna give us after, after eight years is just some, like... <laughs> open scale battles multiplayer ish with like 50, 50 troops each well, <laughs> I don't know but I, I I don't think that well everyone is is probably gonna be happy at first but I think that when people actually realize how long they have waited for is this small amount of gameplay uh, I think <laughs> people is gonna be pretty pissed I mean I think having um I mean, the thing is, if the game's taken far longer, and I think they did yeah. say that they did lose data and corruptedness of the of the game files, I believe. So um, it's definitely something that, while I don't think we'll get a shitload of content, it's it's, it's a double A uh, developer, so uh, maybe yeah. we'll get more stuff free more frequently, which is the hope. Yeah. Uh, now that we're finally at a point where content is now being released. Yeah. Well, they said that it was going to be announced on Steam, which also makes it more, uh, I guess, like stable. Because yes and no. Yeah. Steam is Steam. The thing is, the the issue of Steam, and this is something that I think people don't quite realize, is yeah. Steam is freaking huge. Yeah, like, it's really it huge. It is. It is a massive data bank of yeah. data of information of servers of pretty much the fact that it runs so smoothly on a day to day basis yeah. with every kind of game being updated at all yeah. points is is a tantamount it's a humongous task and i think some yeah. people don't quite realize just how terrifyingly big that is yeah but that's something <clears throat> to say in regards to, to stability but more mm. along the lines of it can be a glitch again the developer can easily fuck it up um, yeah i'm glad sure. it is coming to st uh, to steam and not is not being ported to uh, epic games uh, for the first yeah. year because <laughs> like i mean okay grand thing when it comes to epic games the the actual act of taking games and putting it into other things i don't yeah. like i don't like yeah. exclusivity i don't think we should have to worry about i think crossplay should be across all boards without a doubt yeah. um but <clears throat> having um and hoarding that thing but the launch having it on your own launcher is you know not the end of the world for me you know you just download another launcher yeah, yeah but the exactly. problem is the the epic game store launcher and the service is so bad and so open yeah. that you can have your account hacked. If you buy too many games, your account gets banned. It's just a complete mess. And it's yeah. an example 
going back to the original point of just how big Steam is. Yeah. And how it does this without any problems. <laughs> or nearly any. Yeah. Problem. Well, it, it's, it have been problems. I re remember when I played uh, a lot of Cisco. Like, a lot of the times the, the servers did actually crash. Uh, but that, that was like years ago when Steam wasn't really as big as it is now. Uh, but I, I, I mean, like people probably don't realize how big Steam is because they, they probably think Steam of like, well, it has CS:GO, um, GTA, uh, and like some more games, you know. But if you actually like look on their pages, it's like freaking millions of other games too, with also uh, online servers and players that that actually play them. So it's a lot of guy, people playing on Steam. Um, I saw on some uh, workshop thing on CSGO that there were like almost 20 million this week just playing CSGO, you know. Um, and that's only one game. So like imagine how m many people that that uh, Steam reaches out to. It's just insane. <clears throat> oh yeah, I mean the size of i mean with all of the different games that we have now yeah. you know i think now with steam and csgo and whatnot we it's just it's mind-boggling how much stuff goes into it but yeah i mean going back to the um the concept of stability for the telltales exclusive yeah it's a bit of a mixed bag because depending depending on what the developer does in terms of upload um because 90 percent of the time when a game goes to hell it's not because steam servers are Oh, crap or they're not doing it probably oh, no, because yeah, the yeah. developer yeah. has uh, buggered up a code or yeah. has done something and mucked with the code to a point where the game mm. basically just doesn't like it anymore uh, yeah. we've seen it on a few occasions but it, it's you know it will be down to how the early access is being worked on now obviously mm. because it's been so long in the making that telltales might have a few backup plans <laughs> yeah. just in case I hope something for goes wrong yeah. Um, yeah. So obviously we aren't. You know, hopefully they will be getting. We'll be getting something of substantial content early into the early access, as well as a stable environment as well. Yeah. I hope you better be right then. <laughs> I mean, I mean, honestly, I I used to love um, the Mountain Blade series quite a bit, but yeah. after you've done, after you've played through a little bit on your 17th character on <laughs> i mean there are no people there are people who could probably play 1700 characters and never find it boring yeah but once you've once you've done the big oh i've taken a castle in my own independent faction and i've taken a few now and i'm now <laughs> yeah. you know conquering well the world, that. <laughs> it, 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 it's at a point where you're like it's just it as uh what was a friend of mine says uh, same shit same <laughs> uh stage different category um and it is just, yeah, um, yeah. Just, but no, like I, I'd, I'd like to see Banner Lord do as well because we, we're, we're overdue um, a new uh, Banner, Mountain Blade game. Yeah, we definitely are. And just a quick answer to the last question: um, mm -hmm. When do you, do you think we're going to have uh, the full release? You mentioned this earlier, but but, but just to, to like set an actual date on it. Because I am this time saving up what everyone on this podcast says, and when they actually do release the full scaled game, I'm going to <laughs> see who was the closest, you know? Okay, so I believe we could see a full release in potentially April of 2021. So not too long after a year of, uh, of early access. Yeah. Maybe we'll be lucky, but uh, that's a a logistically sound yeah. early access period. Yeah. Well, I definitely hope that you're right because I could wait a year, you know. Uh, but I definitely hope that it isn't much further away than that, you know. Not oh, that no, they give us like anything... 20, 2025. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Hey guys, do you remember how when that announcement came back in 2016? <laughs> yeah. Guess what? <laughs> Yeah, that's great. That's also everything we have for today. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, go and check his channel out. Uh, link is down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Yeah.